Alright, so as you maybe know, I love Guays, like how he draws and everything. And in today's video, I want to practice his art style. And here, as you can see, I start a little bit with the sketch. And if you don't believe me that I drew this um, here or here is the time lapse for that. So, you know, I was just practicing and I thought like, you know what? I'm gonna do it like a draw with me because you guys wanted it. I made a pool on YouTube. So as you can see, I have here this kind of Guess reference. I don't really know if it's really, like it's if it's actually from Guess or not. I got it from Pinterest, but as you know, it, it looks like Guess. So, and I even ordered his books, but they didn't came. Like, I don't, like, I know why they didn't came because I live in the best country in the world called Germany and we have something that is called Sol. And here, long story short, they got my package and they just don't care about me. So as you can see, I made a very rough sketch and mainly I used the same technique I talked about in the gestures and poses video, like how I draw gestures. So we're getting there, It's everything is just starting. As I said, I just make the sketch so far and I would say let's start with grayscaling because as you maybe know, I am the type of guy who loves grayscaling because I don't know why, but when I start with colors, my brain just like I don't know what's happening in my brain but it just can't do it like for me personally grayscaling is just perfectly like literally perfectly so first of all I obviously want to make a new layer like for our grayscaling and I can directly tell you the grayscaling stage is a very big mess I always like to take a mid-tone you know and obviously you can draw it like this or you can use the lasso tool, but I'm be honest, I hate the lasso tool. Like I have to practice the lasso tool. If you want a video for the lasso tool, like how I am practicing the lasso tool, let me know in the comments. Like for now, I just don't like the lasso tool. Like I'm be honest, for me, it's just, I don't know. It's just too rough. I don't know, it's for me like much more fun to draw it like this, you know. And what I want to say is that I just gonna draw the character because I want to study his characters and not his backgrounds. Like obviously his backgrounds are amazing too, but I'm be honest, it's just too much for me to learn, you know. First of all, I want to get like how he draws the character and then I want to worry about the backgrounds. All right, so here we got the base gray color over the whole sketch and yeah now i will draw like the darker parts like especially here the the clothing like i don't know how it's called girls help me out like i think it's a top i don't know i'm gonna just go right into it you know here so we get directly like you know the basics of the whole drawing and yeah but as we can see it's a very very dark drawing so i directly noticed that this color is way too bright but that's all right you know it's better than that it's bright than dark because you know you can add literally anything to that like as you maybe saw at my vlog like how i copied vlog video i really really struggled with the face i will directly directly start here with the face so we have the worst part behind us but i'm be honest i'm still like searching my art style i definitely know that i want to go in this vlop or guways area this kind of more realistic art style because in my opinion it's just cooler you know as you maybe know the eyes are like a very very dirty part to draw because they are doing so so much to your character like i would even say like the eyes are the most important thing when you draw a character when you're watching a drawing on Instagram you directly see what's with the eyes you know it can be a very very exhausting part yes we're getting there absolutely we're getting there like I see I see and thank god we made them on a different layer because now we can do like a again a layer underneath it for the skin tone for the face because as you see, the skin tone has to be much, much more darker. I made the reference black and white. I don't know if it's called cheating if I made the reference black and white or if it's still legit. Write in the comments, like, I don't really know. And I just love this technique because you see how messy this face looks. It's so messy literally but when you zoom out you see like it's forming somewhere we're not there but we're getting there and that's the important thing and oh my god is the is, is this chin 
horrible. But but we're not giving up, you know. And by the way guys, like the biggest tip I can give you like at all with drawing is to be patient. Like I have actually a quick story for you guys. And that story was actually yesterday, if you believe it or not. I made actually the draw with me yesterday too. But yesterday was different. It was very different because I struggled very hard. And I ended up literally with a kind of mental breakdown, you know, because you are doubting yourself so so much and that's i think self-doubt is like the worst thing about drawing but as you can see today i'm back on it back on the grind because when you give up it's it, it's just not that way because you always have to chase your dream and if your dream is to draw like for example guways you have to be as patient like guways and you have to you know put that time in it like guways and that's not that easy of course but yeah, if you want to reach something, you have to go for it, you know? The chin is horrible, like literally horrible. But I'm gonna just make it a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna do the exact same technique, like Gouwe's. I'm gonna just cover it. Easy was that, guys. <laughs> now, again, the, for me personally, one of the hardest parts, the mouth. And yes, yes, as you can see, I'm really struggling with the mouth. And I think I will just move on with the hair. So as we can see at the top, it's darker. And as you can see, I'm just making like, for example, the color brighter. And again, amplifying all that where I see the bright color. What I don't like at all is like this part right here. It's so, it goes so straight down. Like, I don't really like that. Now we are going definitely to draw the clothing. And now I'm gonna add the necklace. Alright, so I would say we are pretty much done with our top, like I think I will add here some brush strokes. Alright, so now I will focus on the rest of the skin and then maybe I will go back on the top, but I don't know. I think I will keep it very rough. Maybe I will do some things on the jewelry, but now I want to focus on the arms. And as you can see for that, I am also using a much darker color. Like the hand looks literally like, I don't know. It looks like everything, but not like a hand. I really hate the hand. Like I think every artist is struggling with hands, to be honest. And yes, I'm one of them too, because yeah, it's just disgusting to draw them. Like literally, I hate it. Like it literally looks like a bulldozer or something. I, I think I will just let it like that because I really don't want to, you know, focus so, so much on something that small. And again, adding a very dark color. But to be honest, I want to start a new layer because I'm I'm very scared that I mess up something or, or yeah. All right, but we definitely getting there. We definitely getting there, guys. All right, like, I don't know how it's about you guys, but I'm very, very happy with the arms. And now I will add the, you know, like, I don't know how it's called, like, again, the bands like this. All right, so we are very pretty much like done with the like upper body. And now we are just focusing on the legs and yeah, but I am actually very, very happy with the arm. Like, you know, the hands are very rough, but you know, the hands are always a huge struggle. Like as you can see, like this hand, let's don't talk about that. But I would say 
let's start with the legs. And I think for that I will do also a new layer. And again, I I'm just adding what I'm seeing. As you can see here, boom, here the dark parts. Again, now I'm making the opacity higher because I want to see like, you know, where the belt actually is. And for that, I'm using just a gray tone, you know, boom, 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 boom. And we got a pretty decent belt. Let's go. And now we... Oh, like guys. All right. Yeah, we, we have to shade it. But it's not a very big problem, as you can see. And what I always notice is when you draw faster, like when I mean, like when I talk fast, I mean like really fast. Like, you know, you see something, you draw it. You see something, you draw it. It's actually so efficient because you're like, in my opinion, if you draw like, you know, fast, you're actually drawing better than if you're drawing, you know, slowly. And that I, f I know it sounds stupid, but it was always for me that case and maybe it's for you too. So definitely try it out to just, you know, paste the whole drawing like this for the legs, you know. All right, so here we got our grayscaled version. Like I think I will add here and there some highlights. Like for example, here the belt, you know, boom, boom. Here a little bit, yes, yes. Here a little bit the hands, <laughs> the horrible hands. All right, so here we got our grayscaled version of the GUI's drawing. I hope you guys like that. And now we're gonna merge everything, made that to a multiply layer. And now we are gonna start with the coloring. And I can tell you already, I hate coloring. And when I say I hate coloring, I mean it. Now I'm again just erasing some parts that I don't really need. Now like a blue color for the, you know, for the pants. And you directly see that everything is very desaturated, but I think we can fix it with the curves, like at least I hope so. And for the hair, you know, a white color, obviously. I would even say that the clothing, for example, is actually pretty all right, like it's already is. And yeah, now I'm just, you know, taking a reddish color for the lips. A more white color for the eyes. And finally I'm adding like the highlights for the for the eyes. Like very small, very deep, like you know, like this. Like it's no, it's even too big, like I would say like this. And it's still too big. Like I will take the opacity down. Yeah, like this, I think that's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. And yeah, for the gold chains, I almost forgot the gold chains, like the golden necklaces, I'm sorry. And for that, you know, I'm just doing the exact same thing. Again, merge everything. And now I will play, I think, with the color curves. All right, so I would say we are pretty much done with our drawing. Like, I am actually happy with it. Like, the color curves actually saved us here and there. Like, 
like literally saved us and i hope you guys enjoyed this draw with me and always remember be patient guys and never give up like literally i almost cried yesterday because of drawing and today i drew this um, so always keep pushing guys believe in yourself and yeah and if you got some struggles you want to talk about hit me up on instagram and feel free to talk about your problems peace out guys see you soon